obviously the uh, unveiling of the first mural, it was how can we create this common thread where if you're there and you're now at the new hopeful location, uh, that you have this connection that is not only just the uh, rich past of Chatham, but also present and then looking forward to the future. So as I thought back to George Washington and his troops, I thought, okay, here's a group, they're marching. As they're marching, I thought to myself, okay, where's the parallels for myself? As an art teacher working with uh, young children in Chatham, it's all about lineup. I said to myself, wait a second, they don't simply always line up the way we want them to. How do kids behave? So it started to become this connection, past, present, future. You have a lot of parallels between the two sides. And what's going to be really, really visually stunning, I believe, is the fact that you have on one facing wall, George Washington and his troops. On the opposite facing wall, you have these children who are marching in their own way, you know? Uh, so if you really were to look from one end to the other, the parallels are constantly uh, being shown through symbols, through colors, uh, even just placement objects. So 